What's going on everyone? Burbank Aviation here and today we will be doing the January 2023 Columbus International Airport update. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really helped me out. We have a loaded airport update today with a whole bunch of different airlines. We actually have I think six or seven in today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, if you do, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really helped me out. Today is going to be a bit rushed. I was able to get all the GSE in as well as all the gates I currently have. I do need to get some more of those. Uh, also, I do not have a mat for this airport yet. That will be around in the next update. I'm not sure if I will have the markings in, like the red and yellow markings. But I know I will have the map made by next update, so I am apologize about that. Everything is a little cramped and messy, but that will change. But anyway, let's just get started. So we're going to move on down here to the Southwest Terminal. Which, let me see if I can get a good shot. So starting here, we got the Southwest 737-700. Let me just see if I can move my blinds a little bit, try and get the brightness a little better. We got the Southwest 77 700 in the Canyon Blue livery with the winglets. This guy just arrived in from Tampa. It's going to be continuing on over to Denver. You got a double Southwest heart livery shot right here, starting there in the back with the 800 in the heart livery. Uh, this guy just arrived in from St. Louis, going to continue on over to Fort Myers. And the Max 8 just arrived in. Or uh, he's gonna be heading out to Chicago Midway after arriving in from Orlando. Right here, trying to get a better shot. We got the Southwest seven three seven seven hundred in the Lone Star One livery. This guy just arrived in from Baltimore. Is gonna be continuing on over to Las Vegas. Now moving on over to American, we got two American aircraft here. Sitting here on the left side of your screen, we got the American E-175. This guy just arrived in from JFK. He's going to be continuing on over to Washington Reagan. And we got the American A319 with the Sharklets. This guy just arrived in, if I can stay in the camera. This guy is going to be doing the turnaround out to Charlotte. Now moving on over here to the United section. Let me just yeah, make sure to look at my list. Got here first the United 77-800 in the EVA Blue livery. This guy just arrived in from Houston. He's going to be continuing. Actually, that's the wrong person. He just arrived in from Chicago Hair. Going to be continuing on over to Denver. And we got the United E-170. This guy just arrived in from Houston. He's going to be continuing on over to Newark. Got the Southwest 737-800 taxiing in. This guy just arrived in from Houston could be continuing on over to Phoenix. And here in the, uh, this kind of like a hard stand aircraft will, once they push back, they will taxi over here if they are waiting. Um, sometimes they'll go over here for if they're waiting for a gate, but they also go over here if they are having weather delays. But this Alaska 737-800 and the Honoring Those Who Serve livery is currently sitting here. And he's doing the turnaround flight out to Seattle. And I'm moving on over here to this side of the concourse i'm actually gonna move around over to the side to capture this gorgeous united ac19 this guy just arrived in from san francisco is going to be making the return flight back out there that's a nice turnaround i think that is a five weekly still gonna learn all the frequencies for these routes i'm gonna try and have those done for most of the airports by this um by the time the february releases come out American 77-800, this guy just arrived in from Dallas, going to be continuing on over to Phoenix. And we got two American Eagle aircraft starting here. On the bottom left of your screen, you got the American E-175. He's currently pushing back for the flight on over to Miami after arriving in from Boston. In there, in the top right of your screen, right there, we got the American Eagle CRJ-900. This guy just arrived in from Philadelphia. He's going to be continuing on over to Charlotte. I don't know if you guys have heard recently, but Mesa, I think it was Mesa Airlines. Um, I'll have to check. Switch over to United Airlines uh, from American, which will begin in March of 2022. Or sorry, 2023. I'm still getting adjusted to the new year. 
Um, so United will be getting some more CRJ 700s and even send fives as well as adding on the CRJ 900 to their fleet. Meanwhile, Americans' regional fleet will be decreasing, but that will be cool to see. You got the Delta A2 2100 here. This guy is doing the turnaround out to Minneapolis. He's actually thrown in for an A through 19. Delta CRJ 700, he's filling in for the Evan Send 5. This guy arrived in from New York LaGuardia. He's going to be continuing on over to Detroit. Speaking of the Evan Send 5, Gemini Jets, please release that aircraft. That is such a needed aircraft. Everyone wants the Delta Evan Send 5. Please release it in February releases. Uh, it would be super nice if you were able to do that. But anyways, let's just continue on. We're working with what we got. Breeze E195. He is currently sitting here waiting for this American Evan Send 5 to push back. Um, and then he's going to taxi into his gate and he's doing the turnaround out to Cedar Rapids. Finally, for uh, finally for this update, we got the Delta 77900DR. This guy currently arrived in from Atlanta and he's doing the turnaround service. That's a really nice service. Now, I'll probably the 717 and the 739 on that with sometimes putting the 752 on it. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe because it will really help me out. And I will see you all in the next video.